What is a fully underwritten pre-approval and why do you need it? It's a competitive real estate market out there, gosh knows. It, and this is nationwide. If you're getting a mortgage and competing with cash offers, then in my opinion, the best thing you can do for yourself is make sure that you have a fully under and pre-approval before you even go out shopping for a house. Now understand that not all lenders do fully pre-underwritten pre-approvals. In fact, most of them don't. This is something you should find out right out of the gate because with the majority of lenders, most underwriters won't see your file until two to three weeks into the process. So that's when things tend to blow up right before closing and we want to prevent that. Instead, you wanna work with a lender who provides a fully pre-underwritten pre-approval, like we do, to help ensure the strength of your offer and give the seller the confidence that you're actually going to be able to close on your home loan. So this will require that you submit your home loan application and you're going to have to provide your documentation because that's actually what an underwriter is going to look at to give you that pre-approval. So your income documentation, your employment documentation, your asset documentation, all of that's going to be needed in addition to potentially some other things that are going to be required to actually get you that pre-approval. But once you have it, that by far will help strengthen your offer so when you're out there shopping and competing against other buyers who haven't had their loan fully pre-underwritten at pre-approval, you're in a better position to win. The process looks like this. You're going to complete that pre-qualification application. Secondly, you're going to upload your documentation. Once we have that as a lender, we're going to be reviewing all of the details, circling back with you, updating the application, making sure that we have all the I's dotted, all the T's crossed. And from there, then we're going to submit your home loan to the underwriter. Now the underwriter is the actual human being person that reviews all of your particular information against the lending guidelines. And so their job is to make sure that everything that's included in that loan file meets the home loan parameters and guidelines. So a lot of what underwriters are looking at is they wanna match the information that you provided on the loan application. For example, let's say that you put down that you were working at your current employer for two years, but as part of this pre-underwriting process, we're actually gonna go out to your employer and we're going to get a verification of employment. Maybe that verification of employment shows that you've only been on your job actually for 1.8 months. So that's something that your application will have to be updated to and reflect 1.8 months as opposed to maybe the two years that you listed on your application when you submitted it. So all of those like checks and balances is what an underwriter does. Now a lot of this stuff is easy, but sometimes the income component of this process is really where things start to get interesting and sometimes challenging because depending on your situation and how you're paid, maybe you make $50,000 a year, but maybe that income hasn't been stable or maybe that income is comprised of an hourly wage plus some type of incentive pay or commissions or things like that. So when we start looking at all these variable types of income, that's something that the underwriter may have further questions about. The key here is that we want to get all of those questions out of the way up front and ensure that your loan is fully pre-underwritten at this initial stage to help strengthen you as a buyer when you're out making offers on homes. Now an underwriter, once they review all of the information, they're going to come back and most often say, this loan is approved with conditions. And some of those conditions might be updated pay stubs or maybe an updated asset statement, or maybe you're going to be getting a gift from a family member or relative. And so the condition would be the gift letter and the documentation of the gift. Things like that are conditions that the underwriter will give at that point in the process. Now as a team, we're going to come back to you and we're going to ask you for these items. And we're going to do that because we know we're going to need it once you do identify that house so that sooner in the process we can get it we want to be sure that we are in a position to close quickly which will help you as well when you're out there competing with other buyers and or cash offers one of the other benefits of doing all of this work up front is that you don't have to deal with it when you're in a high pressure situation when there's money on the line or when you're trying to win that bid. Not only will the seller have the confidence in your home loan, but you will too. We'll have all of the surprises and the delays out of the way up front, which I love. 
which also means we can close faster. In some cases, we can close in little as two weeks if you need us to. So be sure to set yourself up for success by one, working with a lender who can provide you with a fully pre-underwritten pre-approval and two, getting them all the documentation they need to make sure that you have that pre-approval and can hit the streets and start shopping. Please take a moment and subscribe to this channel. I have a true passion for education and I would love it if you would join our community. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and post your comments below. Until next time.